in this video i will discuss about edge triggered d flip flop it is also known as clocked d flip flop so in my previous videos already we have studied about positive edge triggered sr flip flop and negative edge triggered sr flip flop this is the so already in my previous video we have studied about clocked sr flip flop as we know in clocked sr flip flop this was s input and this was r input this was a clock input we have two outputs q and q bar so in clocked d flip flop the complement of s input is connected to r input that is so let me take so this is the s input complement of s so complement of s can be obtained by passing the signal s through inverter so i will use the inverter using nand gate that is let me use the inverter using nand gate so here the output of this is connected to r input so this input is nothing but d input so i have modified sr flip flop to d flip flop just take the complement of s and output of that is connected to r input this is nothing but t flip flop so here the circuit diagram this is nothing but s input r input we have this is clock input this is q this is q bar so so this is nothing but s input i will pass through inverter inverter is implemented using nand gate output of this is connected to r so input here is nothing but d so d now let me write the truth table so when clock signal is zero if d input is zero or one that is don't care if present state of the flip flop we'll call qn as present state qn plus one is next state so in some textbook we can also use it as q and this as q plus both are fine if present state of the flip flop is zero then next state of the flip flop will be zero the state will be no change if clock is zero irrespective of input if present state of the flip flop is one then the next state will be one itself that is no change so in positive edge trigger d flip flop the flip flop will work only for the positive edges of the clock positive edge is represented by up arrow mark like this so as long as there is a positive edge the flip flop is active so if d input is zero if present state of the flip flop is zero next state will be equal to d input that is zero itself the flip flop will be in reset state similarly suppose present in input of the flip flop is zero and present output of the flip flop is 1 in that case also the next state of the flip flop will be equal to d that is 0 so we can call it as reset similarly if d input is 1 this d input is 1 and if present state of the flip flop is 0 then next state will be that is qn plus 1 will be equal to d that is nothing but 1 the status is set Similarly, if it is 1 and present state of the flip flop is 1, qn plus 1 will be equal to d, that is 1, which is nothing but set. So, this is the truth table for positive edge trigger d flip flop. So, this truth table can also be represented like this. So, in this case, I will the alternate way of representing this truth table is when clock is 0, irrespective of d input 0 or 1 qn plus 1 will be equal to qn that is here we can see that qn plus 1 is equal to qn that is 0 1 qn is 0 0 qn is 1 it is 1 so qn plus 1 will be equal to qn that is no change so positive let me consider positive edge if d input is 0 qn plus 1 will be equal to 0 that is flip flop is in reset if it is 1, qn plus 1 will be equal to 1, that is set. So, here also we can see when d input is 0, 0, 
qn plus 1 will be 0 0 when Q, d input is 1 qn plus 1 is 1 irrespective of the previous state so this is another way of representing the truth table now let me explain this along with the waveform so i will consider this as a clock signal let me call it as clock signal so let me consider these are the positive edges of the clock this is positive edge this is positive edge this is positive edge it is also known as rising edge let me call this as d input this is d input so let me this is q output this is q bar so here we can see that at positive edge only for the positive edges the flip flop is active so at this positive edge the value of d is 0 so q will be 0 so from here to here it is 0 so the flip flop will be active only for next positive edge so next positive edge is here at this instant the d input is 1 so q will be equal to 1 here we can see that when d is 1 qn plus 1 that is flip flop output is 1 so till this point it will be 0 and at this instant it will go high and it will be high until at this instant output will be equal to 1 it will be high until the next clock edge this is the next clock edge so at this clock edge d is 0 it means the top is reset it will become 0 and it will be 0 until the next clock pulse so this is the clock pulse at this instant d value is 1 again the flip flop will set it will go high it will be high until the next clock pulse so at this clock pulse d is 0 so it will become 0 this is how the flip flop will work let me call this as q bar so q bar is just complement of q so i'll take complement of this from here to here it is 0 here it should be 1 this is 1 so from here to here it is 1 it will be 0 here so here from this point to this point it is 0 here it will be 1 and here it will be 0 at this instant it will go high so this is the complete waveform for clocked d flip flop that is considering positive edges now let me consider negative edge triggered d flip flop so here the circuit will be same that is this is s r this is s r so negative edge can be represented as bubble with this mark this is clock signal as we know for d flip flop complement of d is connected to r so this will be same and this is q q bar this is d flip flop so here we supposed to connect one inverter output of inverter is connected to r this is my d input so here we supposed to use the bubble it indicates negative edges of the clock this is clock this is q and this is q bar now let me write the two table so when so here when clock is 0 irrespective of d input qn plus 1 will be equal to qn that is no change when clock signal is negative edge so negative edge will be represented by down arrow like this so when d input is 0 qn plus 1 will be 0 the flip flop is reset when d input is 1 that is when d input is 1 q value will be 1 that is flip flop will be set so this is the truth table for negative edge triggered flip flop here negative edge is represented by down arrow and symbolically it is represented by circle with cap mark let me explain this with waveform so let me consider this as clock signal so this is my d input say this is my q output and this is q bar so here we supposed to consider negative edges of the clock this is negative edge this is negative edge falling edge or negative edge this is negative edge and this is negative edge 
so we'll assume that at the beginning flip flop is in reset state that is zero so it will be zero until the clock signal negative edge of the clock arrives so this is the negative edge so at this instant d input is one so when d is one output will become 1. Here we can see when D is 1 or QN plus 1 output is 1. So it will go high and it will be high until the next clock edge. So this is next clock edge at this instant D is 0. It means flip flop will reset it will go low and it will be low until the next clock edge. So this is the next clock edge here D equal to 1 again flip flop will set and it will high until the next clock edge next clock edge so here d input is 0 it will go 0 till the next clock edge here d equal to 1 it will go high this is q output of the flip flop q bar is just complement of this so let me draw the complement from here to here it is 0 here it will be 1 so from here to here it is 0 here it is 1 it is 1 here, we have to draw it as 0. So here it is 0, we should draw it as 1. Here it is 1, we have to show it as 0. So this is the complete waveform for clocked D negative edge triggered flip flop. Thank you for watching.